The Chips and Science Act is on its way to President Biden's desk. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and other congressional leaders gathered for a bill enrollment ceremony at the Capitol this morning. The bipartisan legislation was officially passed Thursday. It aims to boost domestic production of computer chips and increase America's competitiveness with China. Speaker Pelosi said the bill is a major step forward to meet and beat the challenges of the 21st century. With our Chips and Science Act, we send to President Biden bold new investments to lower costs for America's families while protecting their financial future. Uh, we will return America to world leader status in semiconductor production and power American science and research for generations to come. And President Biden is expected to sign that bill into law. And now that Congress has passed the $80 billion CHIPS Act, it's full steam ahead for Intel's massive investment right here in Ohio. Ohio's elected officials say it's not just the biggest investment in industry in the state's history. It's also a critical investment for the entire country. NBC4's Alan Henry has been digging into the CHIPS Act and what it means for Intel in Ohio. Alan, what'd you find out? Well, Jared Jen, Intel CEO has not been shy about his long term plans here in Ohio. Now, a big piece of that puzzle, the CHIPS Act, is in place to make that goal a reality. CHIPS to Ohio is comparable to Henry Ford to Detroit. Ohio's elected officials have not been shy in stressing the importance of the CHIPS Act. This is transformational for Central Ohio. Um, it will be, result in the largest investment we've ever had in our state's history. Uh, this is Intel making a commitment to Ohio, Ohio workers. The project that Intel committed to build in Ohio will, will go faster now that the CHIP Act passes. And now it'll be on all of us to make sure that we can build the infrastructure and the workforce to keep up. The project won't just be built faster, it has the potential to be a lot bigger. Phase one are two chip fabs. They would consider building three more phases, the same size, $20 billion, and a packaging facility, and they have the land to be able to do that. So that was what their dream and vision was. They've committed to phase one. The CHIPS Act makes it more likely that, that phase two and beyond will occur. That's more than 100,000 new jobs and $100 billion of investment. And that doesn't include ancillary jobs like teachers or restaurant workers. So is Ohio ready? No, we're not ready for it, but we will be. I say it like that because, because we've never had this kind of event occur in our state. Now, it's unclear when President Biden will sign the CHIP Act into law. I also asked the Lieutenant Governor when the rescheduled groundbreaking ceremony will be. He didn't have a firm timetable for that yet, just saying it'll be soon. But he did add crews have already broken ground at the Intel site. Local for you, Alan Henry, NBC4.